Hello my dear family members believe me today's session will be very much helpful to you because today i will share the most asked coding questions in tcs nqt from string as all you know in tcs nqt the first coding question will be asked from string or array so i have listed all the coding questions from string which were asked recently in tcs nqt and i guarantee you if your question is related to string then the question will be asked from today's session so without any bug bug let's start so the first question can be like this anagram checker right so let's say you have been given two sample input that is listen and silent these are two let uh, two word and you have to check if those are anagram to each other or not what is anagram that is all the letters should be matched with this word in this word as well right that means you have to sort the first word and the second word as well in ascending order or descending order then you have to match if those are equal or not if these are equal then you have to print true and if this is not equal then print false right in this case in second sample input hello is not equal to world that means uh, if you sort them in ascending order then hello will not be matched with the world right so that's why the output will be false okay so i hope you understood if you understood then please start solving and give the answer in the comment section right okay so let me show you the second question that is capitalize words right so this seems to be very easy but these are asked right i am not joking these are asked so in this question you will be given a sample input that is hello world like this right and the all the letters will be in small letter and you have to capitalize that right that means you have to convert all the first letter into into capital letter right in this case as you can see h and w are the first letter of each word then you have to just capitalize that letter right so h and w are capitalized in this way you have to do like in this case good morning so good morning uh, there are two letters i mean two words and uh, g and m are the first letters in both words that means you have to just capitalize the g and m right so i hope you understood if you understood then please give me the answer i hope all of you will try to solve the questions before setting the exam right so the next question can be like uh, this change case right unlike the previous question in this type of question you will be given a sample input like hello world and you have to just convert the capital letter into small letter and small letter into capital letter like in this case h and w are capital so uh, we have converted them into small letter and all the small letters are converted into capital letter right so i hope you will you will give apply the conditions and you will capitalize those which are small right and the second sample input as you can see abc are small and def are capital and those are by uh, changed here right so i hope you understood so please practice this type of question as well right these are not joke these are actual questions asked right okay so the next question can be this common subsequence count right so in abc and acd there are two sample inputs you have been given and uh, you have to count what are the common subsequence right so in this case a and ac ab bc abc all the subsequence are there and in this word the a ac acd cd c d c d all the are all are subsequence right so apart from a apart from a ac and ac can be the common subsequence right so that's why the count is one so common subsequence is one in this sample input and the second sample input for this case uh, as i can see a b and a b are common and a c a c d and a c d are common subsequence in this case right so that's why the count of common subsequence are two in this case right so you have to apply for any word any uh, two word and you have to check how many common subsequences are there right so you have to just print that okay so this is quite difficult so i hope you will try that and give me the answer in the comment section if you are so much enthusiastic right and if you are so much serious okay so let me go to the next question so that is concatenate strings this is very easy questions even they have asked right so let's say you have been given two sample input like hello is the first word and world is the second word and you just have to concatenate 
uh, those without any spaces right it's just hello world you have to print that like uh, here you have been given good and morning two words and you have to just concatenate it without any spaces right and good morning so you have to just print it right okay so the next question is frequency of characters right and this is also a little bit lengthy questions or you can say tricky questions so just what you have to do let's say you have been given a word let's say hello you have to count how many h are present there how many e are, are present there how many l how many o are present there right like in this case as you can see output is h1 e1 l2 right l2 and o is one so they are the frequency of each character and in the, in the second sample input as you can see programming right in this case p just only present one and r count of r is two and o one g is repeated that's why the g counts is two and a is not repeated a is once uh, in present in this word that's why a is one m is repeated so that's why m uh, is the count of m is two and i i one and n also one that's why th these are the frequency of each characters right so please uh, try this problem and give me the answer in the comment section if you have been if you are giving all the questions answered in the comment section then there are something special waiting for you right okay so let me go to the next question that is largest word so in this type of problem you will be given a sample input like a sentence right and you have to just print what word is the largest in the sense of like um, more number of characters are there if there is any same number of characters what are present then you have to print uh, the largest i mean in the sense of total ascii value right uh, so number i mean the sum of ascii value should be greater okay so in this case as you can see sentence having more characters more letters that's why this is the largest right so that's why this is uh, output and in this case quick and brown are same letter they are they are having same number of letters that's why we have an we, uh, we have confusion so what should we print but we have printed quick why because quick has more uh, i mean uh, the ascii value of quick is greater right i mean the sum of ascii value in quick is greater than sum of ascii value in brown right so i hope you will apply the ascii value yeah here yeah, right okay so let me go to the next question that is max occurring character that means let's say you have been given a sample input hello and you have to just print what character is present which is having uh, the maximum number of occurrence right that means l here which is occurred twice in this case right that's why the, this is greater than any letters present here right so that's why the output is l right and in this case programming here m is uh, present twice and r is also present twice and g is also present twice but g is the output right so why g is output in this case g is having lesser ascii value that's why g is printed right so whichever having lesser ascii value you have to print that whenever you have same number of occurrence in any characters right okay so let me go to the next question that is next alphabet so in this case you will be given a character and you have to just print the next alphabet of that character just you have to apply the ascii value concept here right let's say here a right so a is having 97 ascii value right so you have to just print the ascii value which is having 98 right so that means b in this uh, in this way you can solve the problem okay so the next question is non-repeating characters right so in this sample input as you can see non-repeating characters are h e and o but l is repeating character so we have removed that i mean we don't have to um, uh, take in our consideration we just have to print h e and o which is not repeating so that's why the output is h e o but uh, okay so the next question is i mean next sample input is programming so r is repeated so that's why r is removed from here and uh, g is repeated so g also must be uh, must not be present here and as you can see m is also repeated so m is not included right so this way you have to solve and in this case as you can see okay so next problem is palindrome check so this is the most asked question right so madam so what is palindrome that is the letter which is uh, same from left to right and right to left right so that means if you reverse this this will also be same as madam right so that means madam if you reverse this then this is also become uh, becoming 
madam that's why the madam is equal to madam so the output is true but in this case hello is if you reverse this then this will not be equal to hello this will become o l l e a e h right that means you have to print false because the reverse form of this is not equal right okay so the next question is and this is the actual i mean this is most repeated question right so please give importance to this and please give the answer of this question in the comment section right i will give you hard okay so the next question is print duplicates so hello in this case l is duplicate right so just you have to print the l which is repeated in this case and in this case the g the r and the m are repeated that means whichever letters are repeated you have to just print those letters right and as you can see g r and m which are uh, not in order right so just you have to be mindful about that okay so the next question is remove brackets so you can be given such inputs in which you will have some brackets are there and you have to just remove that and print whatever inside that i mean inside the bracket okay so in this sample second sample input as you can see the two brackets are there round brackets and you just have to remove that okay and print all the things which is having inside that brackets okay and the next question can be remove characters right you have been given two inputs that is one is hello and second one is l i mean the second is a uh, letter okay and you have to just remove how many times they are present whatever number of uh, times they are present you have to just remove that character from the word right so here l l are removed and h e o are returned and in this case as you can see programming right so programming uh, and g is the letter which you have to remove from this so g are uh, g number of occurrence of g here two right so that and and you have to just remove the g so we have returned p r o r a m m i n and we have removed g right so i hope you understood and the next question is remove duplicates right so hello right so hello so remove duplicates means if l is repeated then just you have to remove this not all the else right so this is quite different from the previous question but you have to just remove the character which is just duplicate you have to just remove that right okay so we have written hello only hell not hello okay so second sample input as you can see programming so p r o g these are at first we have printed because these are at first uh, number of occurrence are one then when they are started repeating that means r is started repeating so we have removed r and a is unique so a, we have printed a but at first a is unique so we have printed m and the m is repeated here so we have removed the second m and uh, the i is unique so we have printed i n is unique so we have printed n but g is not unique g is repeated so we have removed that g and the next word is next problem is reverse word so this is uh, not reverse word this should be rotate words right so you will be given some words and if you have to rotate that like hello world so you have to remove i mean you have to rotate like clockwise or anti clockwise so in this case hello world so world is here hello is here so this is clockwise rotation right and in this case as you can see good morning so good is here morning is here so this is clockwise rotation right so i hope you understood and you will give the answer actually i have solved this type of questions earlier so i will not take time to make you understood uh, about this question okay so the next question is sort characters so hello right so how to sort i mean just sort them in ascending order e h l l o right and in this case programming just uh, according to their ascii value you can sort them right so ascii value plays a major role here please know about ascii values right okay so programming a g g i m m n o p p r r okay so just they have sorted them in ascending order you have to just uh, sort them right okay so the next question is from substring so you have been given two words one is hello world and second one is a pattern which you have to uh, which you have to check if this is present inside this string or not yes the second one world is present inside this so we'll uh, go i will print true just if you have you have to apply uh, the regular expression right okay the next uh, sample input is good morning so the second i mean the pattern is 
uh, evening but this is not present inside this so we'll return false okay so the next problem is sum of numbers so you are given alphanumeric characters and you have to print the sum inside that alphanumeric characters right so 1 2 3 that is 123 and 45 so you have to just sum them right like 168 and in this case the number is 123 and so we have to print only 1 2 3 and the next problem is vowel consonant space count right so how many vowels are there how many consonants are there how many spaces are there you have to just print that right so in this case uh, they have counted vowels as three consonants are seven spaces are one only right so you have to just count that and uh, in this uh, second sample input that is uh, they have printed vowels four and consonants eight and spaces one so you have to just print that you can use the inbuilt function as well right okay so the next question is wild card match right so hello and the second a sample input is also h star l l o that means the star can be anything you have to just match if these are equal or not right and here also the star can be anything a b c d e from uh, from these to z right so if uh, these are matching then we you have to print true right okay the ne next problem is word count so hello space world right so you, you have to count how many words are there like one and two just you have to print i mean you can use the split method and this will return a array and you have to just print the size of that right and here also you can see this is a test how many words are there you have to print that and remove non alphabets and here you can see one two three are numbers digits so you have to just remove that and you have to print the only characters i mean only strings which is having characters i mean letters right and the sem second sample input is 1 2 3 abc and here 4 5 6 1 2 3 are numeric characters so you have to remove those and you have to just print only the characters which is having uh, letters right abc and remove spaces the same way you have to just remove the spaces i mean okay you have to just trim that okay and uh, the next problem is from remove vowels and here all you have to do just you have to check if what are the vowels present here and you have to remove that that means here e and o are vowels so you have to remove that and return the remaining okay and the next problem is program i mean next sample input is programming here also o and a i are vowels and we have to just remove that okay so the last problem is reverse string and this is also a very important question that is hello right so hello you have to just re reverse that like h e l l o here world so you have to just reverse that right so i hope you understood what are the tasks what are the problems are being asked in the first coding question sections if you have been asked uh, from string then the questions must be asked from today's discussion i am assuring you okay so i hope you will give importance to the today's session so if you love this session please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want the Prime materials of TCS NQT in which I, I have included all the recent coding questions, all the previous year coding questions, all the mock tests as well. So please knock me at my ID. I will provide you. Okay, so thank you for the decision.